Hello guys and welcome to my uh, redo of a little mini series I did, a uh, mod review of the G-bombs. So we're going to start off just as we did last time with artillery. So <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this is because my commentary is rather necessary if you actually want to know what the hell you were doing. So as I said, artillery, right? So you're going to start off with the very basic of firing it. What you want to do spawn in this uh, what was it the howitzer yes uh, now there's no base for it um, sometimes you can attach an atomic anti base you can access it on there I usually don't I just uh, do this some people have made prop uh, stands for it purely aesthetic reasons no other reason we have a fragmentation round an HE shell incendiary shell chlorine shell we're only gonna fire one of these that one needs to stop moving Okay, so we're going to fire an HE shell, high explosive, if you don't know what that means. This is the proper process of loading one. You'll get it. By the way, uh, good utilities, make sure Gary's bomb survives right here. Right here, should bombs arm when hit or dropped. If you're loading, I would suggest turning that off. Just put that in there, you know. The best uh, suggested... I guess depth to put it in is about this far, just so this much is showing, or make it completely flush with the chamber. So next, spawn in the howitzer propellant. All right, it's a little jar. That's all it is. Now, usually I make it so that the lid is facing this way. I don't, I'm not sure if that's the proper way, but that's the way I put it. Now you have a little bit of trouble usually. You can weld these by the way and dupe them, but I've had glitches with them. Now, all you need to do now is go in here, hit E on it for good measure. It should work, but just in case it doesn't, I usually do that. And you should be able to fire it. Ta-da. Got yourself an HE round. I'm going to double the sound speed multiplier. Now, that's all we need to know on how to fire that. So I'm going to show you what the other ones do. HE is purely, purely explosive. Fragmentation rounds shoot out pellets. You can see them there. I prefer frags when dealing with area of effect that you don't want for one of these. Uh, incendiaries are still banned on my servers purely because of the fact that once you get lit on fire, I think for about three uh, times you try and spawn, you'll still be on fire. There's a little bit of fire there. I can put some props there and I will actually spawn in a few little uh, props. Now you may have noticed this video is a little different from my last video if you watched it. Uh, I'm more laid back. That's because I don't really have to compete with the sound anymore. Let's see. Now, I'm going to spawn. I'm going to be on fire. And I'm going to spawn. I'm going to be on fire. I'm going to spawn and be on fire. And I'll live. I think that's how it works. And it did light those on fire, just didn't break them. So send the areas of band of my servers just for pure annoyance factor. Chlorines, as of recent, uh, patches are no longer banned due to hazmat and gas masks. We'll cover those later though. This is purely artillery. And it's corresponding shells. Now, the chlorine, very distinctive. It's blue, silver, or well, gray. Very weird shaped compared to the other ones. You Throw it, shoot it, whatever. Poof. <coughs> Blow into the chlorine, you gotta start coughing, you'll start having the double kind of layered vision. You'll start taking damage, and if you stand there long enough, you will slow down. Making it so that it will kill you. See, I'm slowing down, and eventually you'll just drop dead. So if you get hit with two of those, and you don't know what's going on, you could easily die. Very useful for making an area uninhabitable for its duration. I think it's uninhabitable. Uninhabitable isn't a word. Anyways, you should know what I mean. Well, there's a couple other types of artillery. There's tank shells, 135, 170, and 240. I tend to not use these just because of the fact that I'm not really sure how to. Besides this, it's the only way now to use them. Maybe it's the only way to use them. You pick them up, freeze them, or put them on a launcher. Go up behind them, and press B, or 
E, sorry. Perhaps there's another way. I don't know if grav guns work. Kind of, but they don't really explode it. Anyways. They're rather big and pretty cool because... Boom. I'm going to shoot this one and show you its range. See if we can hit that bunker. I doubt it, but we might be able to. I shot myself. That is a, uh, not a recommended method of firing a 170 millimeter tank shell. That's just advisable to not shoot yourself in the face with a tank shell. Now, we have a few more to cover. We have the, the Davy Crockett and the Tom Gany. We're going to start with the Davy Crockett because it's my least favorite. Just because of the physics behind it. And because of the uh, ineffectiveness of the whole thing in and of itself. So give me a moment and I'm going to set up everything needed for it. Alright, we're back. I have the Atomic Annie with its uh, respective... Well, I have the Atomic Annie and the Davy Crockett with their respective ammunition and propellants. As I said, we're going to start with the Davy Crockett. It's very cool, but at the same time it's very ineffective. But if you can get it near enough to some people, it can cause a lot of damage. Very localized, very small nuclear blast. However, there is fallout and radiation. See, it's going to take a little while. I'm not that great at loading it. So, I'm going to try just for a couple more seconds, and then I'm just going to try it off camera. Almost. Honestly, I'm just not good at it. Some people can load it really easily from what I've seen. I think it's the lack of depth perception that you have in this game. There you go. Slam it in there, freeze it, make sure it's facing up, otherwise it'll fall out. It's top heavy. Take the propellant. I prefer to face this way. This is another hard part. Be very careful not to grab any other part besides the propellant. You need to just get the propellant and stick it all the way in there. All the way until it's touching the base of the warhead. I like to arm the warhead to be safe. It's probably going to kill me. I don't really care. We're now going to fire the warhead. Again, it's, you need no clip for this. As far as I know, unless you have wire mod, which I don't, I cannot get it to work after they took it off of Steam or the workshop, which annoys me. There it goes. Let's take, get a good look at it. Very small. However, if you're in that area, you're going to die. The nuclear fallout has been removed, unless if you have it enabled. You should be the only one with nuclear fallout. Alright. That was a big one. Four, four, artillery. We're going to turn on nuclear fallout, and we're going to take a risk here. Last video I made on this, the atomic candy did not work at all. It blew up in the chamber, or the round was a dud, because I... If you, uh armed it in the chamber it would blow up if you didn't it would just well, it would blow up in the barrel if you didn't arm it it would be a dud and it would just fly out and it would just and if you hit someone with it, I think it would kill them but you, it's physical anyways we're gonna try it like this if it work maybe it'll just kill me in the barrel next time don't see a giant nuclear blast so I'm gonna assume it didn't work so we're going to just do this really quick again. It's most likely going to kill me. If it does kill me, you just remember this has worked probably just a couple days ago. I made it work. Oh, a little too far out. Same rule with the uh, other artillery. Just make it normal. You know, don't force it too far. Don't slam it like I am. Unless you have it turned off where it arms it. Okay. No. Oh actually fired. Ah, there it is. Hit midair it seems. Hit the wall. Well there should be fallout, but I'm not sure if there's midair blast fallout. No, no, there it is, the fallout. So that's the artillery. 
Uh, thank you for watching. We're going to continue on next time to the light bombs, light heavy or light medium and heavy bombs. And then after that, we're going to move on to the missiles. And then uh, from the missiles, we're going to move on to the chemical and protection, chemical and protection. And then we're going to move on to the miscellaneous, the nuclear, and the specials. So again, thanks for watching.